um, first I had that tumor that, that was on my ovary. Okay. Then I had, I'm all at one time now, then I had a nodule on my uh, rope. Then I had eye surgery. Then I had hand surgery, both hands. Then I had, they saw a, on my lung, a spot on the lung. Then I had something on the brain. Mm. All this at one time. But let me tell you, God delivered me from them all. He delivered me from them all. I sat down on that couch. I was praying those healers scriptures over me. And let me tell you, I ate that word. I mean, I literally, the word literally became alive to me. It began to jump off the page as I was eating that word. That no one could not tell me that I was healed in Jesus' name. Amen. And that girl right there, Stacy Dixon, went with me to every appointment that there were. And then we would take you, take that bow in. And, and, and until the physician would come in, we'll be reading scripture. Yeah, the scripture that the Lord would give her. And we didn't care of who came in and saw us with the word. We would read the word. Amen? Because the Father said, you be ashamed of me. <laughs> Before people, he said, I'll be ashamed of you. Amen. So we we literally, I literally stood on the word until I have to share with you all that one night when I was sitting on that couch and I knew what something had happened in the spirit realm. I knew it. And I began to shout for joy because the Lord had literally told me in his word. The lady that was healed with the issue of blood said, I have healed you. He told me to get to the church as fast as I can. And I know I shared that with you all. So all I'm telling you now, stand on the word of God. And I remember one time I went and, and about the throat and uh, and I was looking for doctors after doctor, specialist after specialist, and I was so drained that day. And God told me to open the word. When I opened the word, it spoke to me about was it Hezekiah would give me 15 years? Hezekiah, and he will give me 15 more years. What time he will give me 15, well, 15 more years he gave to Hezekiah. He added more life to him. And after that, I said, Lord, that was for me. And I went and I woke up stage and said, Stay to the Lord just spoke. And he's gonna give me more years after year. He said, It's not my time. And then the next day. Apostle Calvin came. He said, and he prayed with me. He said, not only that, the Lord said that he's going to give you over the 15 years. Amen. Over the 15 years. And it's around the how I get open to that page. And that was spoke to me. And I just asked Stacy want to go because she hears from God. Thoroughly she hears from God. And I said, Stacy, speak to God right now. And then she'll open the page so I'll be able to speak to her. So I want her to come and share with what God just told her concerning you. But what did the prophet tell you? What did the prophet tell you? Oh, what? What did I, what, when God spoke to me, come down that road and I said, me? What did he say? You don't have to. You have to have surgery or something. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I was a pastor earnest. Yeah, yeah, that, that pastor earnest church. That's right. But you wasn't there that day. I would have to. You wasn't there that day. But anyway, I, I know I shared this with you all that I went up for prayer at the church that I went to in Freeport. And I, I went there and I, when I, uh, I, uh, 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 uh Pastor Ernie's wife. Well, I, I won't even go, go into yeah, that. I won't share it anyway. But God told me to tell you to hear the people's faith. That when I speak, he speaks. I know his voice. Yeah. You won't die from what your sister yeah. died from. But, but, it, but, but see when, that. when you say call up for those that need to come up for prayer, I was wondering, went on up there. I, I mean, I was going to hesitate. I, I went on up there for God prayer. The boy had you. told me on that couch to get to the church. So when I went up there for prayer, and, 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 I, and, and, and Pastor Ernest, wife, highly anointed woman of God. When I went up there, and I held my hand up before God. And I just told her, I said, I already know that I'm here. I just want you to uh, to confirm it with me for, for, for contact. 
And as soon as I put my hand up, because like I told you all, something had happened on that couch in the spirit realm. When I read the one with the issue of blood, it, it was just, and I began to shout for joy to right on that couch right there. And it was like late, in the, yes, late at Lord. night. And, and so I went up there, I held my hand up before God. Not before man, but before God. Soon as she touched me and laid her hand on the side with that tumor because like I was like, this thing was cancer. Okay? And so when I stayed on that tumor, I always wish it was. It had to be cancer because God would have touched me the way he touched me. Soon as she laid her hand on that tumor, the power of God came through my body. It was like a, it was like an electrician, uh, uh, electrician came through my body. I, I mean, I've heard, I've had, well, laying on the hand before, where, I, you know, where I, I've gone all this like that, but nothing like this, sister. Nothing like this. It came all the way through my body. And like I shared with you all, that it was like a, it was like fire on the inside. Oh, no, it was burning it out. Burning it out. Burning it out. And, 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 all of it, and I don't, I just began to shout for joy. The congregation was all looking at him, you know, and then after it all stopped, then the God spoke to the woman of God. He said, there won't be surgery. God just told him there would not be surgery. And do you know, when I went for surgery that day, when I went to the hospital that day for that half surgery, now the thing that I was supposed to have to after I, when I went to the doctor the first time, it was not for nothing like this. For, for, for the for the tumor, it was nothing like that I went for. I went to have a hysterectomy because I was having cycles that was bleeding so much. That's what I went for. But but it it changed because I had trouble trouble in the back. But God had but God had me to go to the hospital in Freeport because the situation that we we're looking at at first it changed to this disaster of the tumor. What the what the what the uh, X-ray phone? You understand? So, when I went to the health surgery that day, and I was just uh, believing and standing on the word of God, and let me tell you, I couldn't speak to my mom through this because I didn't want her, I didn't want her words to kill my faith. You know, because moms worry. You know, and when I would talk to her, you know, she would cry, cry something like that, you know. And, and so I couldn't talk with her. I, I, I wanted to stay in faith and connection with people that spoke faith. So that's what I did. But anyway, on my way there, my twin was driving me they, to the hospital. And I was sitting on the back of the side. And I remember looking up and saying, yeah, looking up and, as I was looking through the window. And I remember the peace that was overwhelming. Nothing but me. It was like it was like God would tell me, I have you. I got you. Sister, he got you. He got you in the palm of his hand. Amen. He got you. And when I went and I was in the upper getting ready to have the surgery, the, the doctor was gonna be there to take care of the cancer. He came, he talked to me about it. The surgery may take a little longer than but whatever they find or so and so, you know, going over this. Maybe like, you know, maybe like uh, 12 hour surgery, 6 hour surgery, whatever, whatever they find to get it out. But when my primary doctor came, I still, I looked at her, her name was Dr. Hansen. Dr. Hansen arrived, I looked at Dr. Hansen, and I said, Dr. Hansen, there won't be a surgery. You can already heal. Jesus. Yeah. And all she did was call her hand. Church and give my testimony. 
the church. The, the church was just, we, we just glorified the Lord. Then I had this little white man that come up to me and tap me on the shoulder. He said, I want what God did for you. Because I said, Father, he's no respectful person. What he did for me, he didn't say. Amen. 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 But I want Stacy, right, to come up here. Come on, and this word is for you, what God has.